Hello, thank you so much for coming back to watch this week's little snack review. So today for you, I have some peanut butter ding dongs. So if you'd like to see if these are good, if they're worth picking up, and if they're better than regular ding dongs, then please keep on watching. Just so you know, uh, I do upload a daily video all about budget food. So make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. You can even bookmark the page. That way you don't miss the daily upload. Do you like ding dongs? Okay. They're okay. But you like peanut butter. Yes. You like peanut butter and chocolate. So these regularly retail for two fifty. Of course I did get them on sale for a dollar twenty nine, because you know, that's the way I roll. Ooh. So they also have a chocolate peanut butter um, Twinkies, which I'd be up to trying. But anyway, you get ten little cakes in here and one cake is hundred and ninety calories. That's a lot. But anyway, let's go ahead and see if these are any good. Gotta rip the little thingy. Okay. You think that they'd make the box easier, but oh well. Okay, so it looks kind of like a regular ding dong, except the little drizzle on top is kind of brownie. But let's try it. So I saw that they had the pumpkin spice Twinkies again this year, and I remember we tried them last year, so I didn't buy them, but you're welcome. I wouldn't hate them if we had them. Okay, so let's go ahead. There you go. Oh, okay, so there's a little bit of peanut butter in there. I don't think there's a ton of peanut butter in them. So regular Ding Dongs have kind of the white cream filling, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, let's try it. Do you taste much, much peanut butter? Mmm, that natural taste, that's about it. To me, they're definitely not as good as the regular Ding Dongs. I don't know, the regular Ding Dongs, the kind of white cream in the, white cream in the middle, it's like soft and like fluffy. The peanut butter in this is kind of like, not hard, but it's not fluffy, it's not whipped. Um, and yeah, there's not much peanut butter flavor in these. Um, so it's fudge covered peanut butter cake. The cake was also peanut butter flavored. Mm. I don't, yeah. it wasn't strong. No. And then there's peanut butter cream filling. Um, they're okay. Um, I think that the regular Ding Dongs are better personally than the peanut butter ones. I don't know, when I see peanut butter, I'm expecting to actually have the peanut butter flavor. And this didn't have very much peanut butter flavor. No. Okay, if you had to give these a scale of one to five. Well, the name sounds like an insult. Okay. A peanut butter ding dong. Okay. Uh, three. That's fine. A three. Yeah. yeah, I would. I would give these a three as well. They're not bad. They're not gross. They're just not what I was expecting. I was expecting like actual peanut butter flavor, and there's just not very much peanut butter flavor. They're not gross. They're they're good, but. If I was just buying Ding Dongs, I would just buy regular Ding Dongs and not get the peanut butter ones. So, not bad. They're just not what I was expecting. So, yeah, but they're if, if you wanted to try them, I don't think that you would find them disgusting or gross. They're just not as flavorful as I was expecting. So, anyway. Um, but, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this week's little snack taste test. If you did, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and share it. Leave a comment down below and let us know. If you have tried the peanut butter ding dongs, what did you think of them? We'd love to know down below. And don't forget, you're always welcome to follow me on my other social media. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's all up at your client, babe. Don't go anywhere quite yet. Another video should start autoplaying here very shortly. Or you can always click on one of the ones that will be popping up around the screen. But yeah, I'll see you here in just a sec.